everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be doing an Australian gluten-free taste test. Outback Animals, and these are kids' chocolate cookies. They're nut-free, they've got cute colourful characters on them. They've got lots of characters on the back here too. Oh no, they've named them. Christy Kangaroo, so if your name's Christy, I'll be calling you that from now on. Crikey Crocodile, oh, I hate that name. Kim Koala, Willy Wombat. It says it's gluten-free, oh it says it's wheat-free, egg-free, dairy-free, yeast-free and vegan. It also said this product also is soy-free, nut-free and kosher. Ugh, wonder what it has actually got in there. I hope they're in cute little animal shapes, they better be. Oh yes! So, just let me hunt down all the animals so I can show you them all. Oh wow, that's supposed to be a kangaroo. The koala's a little bit cuter, I think. That's a crocodile, apparently. It also could be a goat or a dog. That's a wombat, but it also looks like a rock. They're nice and crunchy. The chocolate flavour isn't particularly strong in these. These ones are a little bit uneventful in my opinion, but I do like that they come in cute little animal shapes. That does make them a lot more fun to eat because that is pretty adorable, isn't it? But the taste of them, not fantastic. Black sesame rice crackers. I've actually had black sesame ice cream before and it was absolutely delicious. Traditional Japanese oven baked crackers made in Australia. Oh wow, it looks quite dramatic, doesn't it? That looks kind of sexy to me. You can actually see the sesames in there. Oh, they're pretty tasty, I like these. Mm. These are vegan, natural, wheat-free, non-GM, baked, not fried, nothing artificial. I like sesame seeds, so I find these quite tasty. They're not particularly salty or anything, but they have got a lovely flavour. Tom and Luke snack balls, and these ones are salted caramel flavour. I don't really understand what's going on in the world now, because when you go to a cafe now, they seem to have a lot of balls. Reword that, because it doesn't really sound right. You know how you used to go into a cafe, and they had a glass counter, and they had all these amazing array of different cakes? Now it seems that they've just got all of these different flavoured balls in there. This is going to be one of those videos where I say balls a billion times. You can still have your balls, but have your cake as well. <laughs> there is no part of this that is sounding right. <laughs> They're not very big balls either. You pay just as much money for a ball as you would a cake. Anyway, that's just an observation. These are vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO. Talks about protein and fibre, anyway. Okay, so it's covered with coconut. Reasonably small, but will it taste any good? Mm. Oh, mm. these are yummy. They're really good. I love the flavor of that caramel. It's got a really sort of num, 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 num. You know how when you eat something and then you taste it on the back of your palate and you go, oh yeah, that's good. Well, this is the reaction I'm having to this. I can't really notice it as necessarily salted caramel, but it's a beautiful caramel flavor in there. The balls are actually a lot harder than I thought they were going to be. This is a snack that I actually would get again. Yum! The bar counter. What does this mean? This one is chocolate brownie crunch. It's a very plain packaging, means business, really looks quite serious. High protein, low carb, good source of fiber, gluten free, natural flavors and coloring, really what else do you want? Oh gee, it's hard. Oh, there you go. So it just looks like a regular candy bar inside. I have a lot of yes, no going on right now. At first when I bit into it, I was thinking that chocolate's pretty good. Then the inside is quite dense and I hope this has described it for you. I've just made a really weird hand move. <laughs> a slow moving hand going like this. That's what it tastes like. The outside chocolate is really quite tasty. It does taste chocolatey in the middle of it. And I think that's actually like little chocolate chips or something inside there. I don't really know why you'd eat this. I suppose it'd be good on a bike ride or a hiking trip or something. That's how I hike, by the way. Just sort of mushed up chocolatey stuff in there. Like a nougat, I suppose, or something like that. I do like the chocolate on the outside, but that's pretty much all I've got to say. Does it taste like a brownie? No, the, the flavor's sort of brownie-ish. Brownies are sort of a bit squishy inside. It's okay. 
Once again, I'm playing the tambourine. Rice wheelies. Is that a frog that is also a bicycle at the same time? How terrifying. These ones are cheese flavored. I think I get lots of little packets inside. How many do you get in there? It should tell me. Oh, I've got my finger over it. It has 10 packs inside. It does have egg in it. Where's my read that they're even gluten free? Have I just randomly picked up something that I wanted? <laughs> It says gluten meal detected on the back there, so I think we're okay. Ooh, okay, little packs inside. Is that upside down? You wouldn't know, would you? Is that a gluten-free monster? Let me know in the comments below what you think that thing is. It's probably an artery or something. I think so. I'll give you the first look at the wheelies. Are they wheelie enough for you? Yeah, they are wheelie. They're smaller than I thought they were going to be. So that is just a rice snack, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I'm not loving it. There's not a lot of flavor. I was expecting to love these more. I like potato chips better, let's be honest. Hang on. <laughs> I'm allergic. There are other rice treats out there that are better, but these are probably fairly good for you, I'd say, because there's not a lot of salt in them. I feel like the packaging of this is super fun, is to make people think, wow, kids, this is going to be a lot of fun. But then when you eat them, kids would eat anything when they come home from school, wouldn't they? I uh, well, maybe not. I'm just lukewarm on these ones. The flavor that is in there is really nice. They're light, they're crispy. I guess kids would love the super fun packaging on that. Are you loving that? I don't know. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you want to support my channel, please remember to leave a, uh, what was I gonna say? Please remember to hit the subscribe button and there was something else, but I forgot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.